。我觉得，呃，中国政府把这项奥运会当做给自己涂脂抹粉的这样一次政治行动。Much was made of Prime Minister Rudd's raising of human rights in Beijing recently, where he used a seventh-century word to describe his relationship with China, Zheng Yu, the true friend who dares to disagree. Most analysts thought it was a brave move. Mr. Wei believes the opposite. 你要是共产党的朋友，你怎么会成为中国人民的朋友呢？这一点，共产党自己就画得非常清楚，中国老百姓也把这个界限画得非常清楚。所以我觉得他提出这个概念是，可能是受到了大企业的很大的压力。他又想做中国的朋友，呃，又想向西方的老百姓解释，呃，我是关心人权的。所以他提出了这个很莫名其妙的、很奇怪的一个概念。呃、我觉得这个说法不是很好，中国人普遍都听着都觉得怪怪的，甚至共产党自己听着都觉得怪怪的。Schedule. Great. We need to also talk about the French Minister for Human Rights. Apparently, they want they want to meet the way. Talk about that. Yeah. I'm just thinking, girl, she's got such a busy program. <laughs> It's like the next thing he's going to go and speak at. Shattered. Yeah, I'm not surprised. <laughs> another day, another meeting. Mr. Wei is being briefed by his minders about Foreign Office Minister Lord Malik Brown. I'm, I'm hopeful that will be quite a useful meeting. Mark Malik Brown is a, um, a fairly sympathetic human rights minister. He's interested in actually understanding the issues and seeing what the UK can realistically do about things. So um, I think it should be quite a friendly meeting. But how far he'll be able to push his other colleagues in other parts of government to um, do the things he wants them to do is uh, the challenge he faces. I think. What are you hoping to get out of this meeting? Is it the same as all of the others, just pushing the same ideas, or is there a different、uh, approach to this particular meeting? I hope to get out of this meeting. 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 在上面做一些事情的话，那么现在这个时机非常好，啊，现在是可以做一些事情的时机。As we leave the cafe and Mr. Wei heads off to his meeting, I'm stopped by police and questioned on suspicion of involvement in terrorism. I'm just filming them. This is if we think it's professional filming. Huh? We believe it's professional filming. I just wanted to get the shot of them walking in. That's all. We just get the shot of them walking in. I didn't know till about ten minutes ago what we were doing. You know, like like I said, you don't know from one minute to the next.、Okay. News reporting. You follow the news. Well, if you had the press pass, it would have helped as well. It's also difficult to get Dateline's camera into any of the meetings Mr. Wei has with British politicians. Not even to get the shot of them shaking hands. He really is a political hot potato. Mr. Wei says they have too much to lose in offending China by being seen meeting him. When you met Kevin Rudd, it was also in secret. 嗯，当年他当议员的时候不会，现在我就不知道了。因为当议员的时候，他可能不需要考虑那么多，但是他现在要考虑刚才说的那个问题，就是，嗯、呃，你要是关心了人权，那么澳大利亚的资本家不高兴；你如果不关心人权，那么澳大利亚老百姓不高兴。我到现在还没有跟他进行这方面联系。上上次我去澳大利亚的时候，像他好像不是很热情。Today it's off to Cambridge University for a speech to overseas Chinese students. He begins with the disturbing trend of rising nationalism in China, which he says is supported by the government. This extreme nationalism has shown some characteristics of Nazi Germany. For example, it is very aggressive, very aggressive, and very aggressive. It is very aggressive. 而且他和所有的狂热一样，一旦进入狂热状态以后，他们的耳朵里已经听不进任何东西了
那么这种狂热的、极端的爱国主义发展下去会走到什么地步呢？不仅我们非常担心，而且连共产党内部的很多人也很担心。在他旁边的小 He then went on to talk about organ harvesting. 因为大家都知道，中国现在已经不仅仅是摘取犯人的器官了，甚至摘取普通人的器官，甚至有在大街上把人抓抓去以后就给杀掉摘取器官的，因为这成为一笔大生意。就是说。But when he criticized Premier Wen Jiaobao and the Chinese military for getting to the recent earthquake zone too late, it was too much for some in the audience. So my question is whether he really knows uh, at what exactly time the, 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 the Chinese troop arrived in the earthquake region. At this point, Mr. Wei got confused and contradicted himself, losing the attention of many in the audience. But at the end, he still got quite an applause, although mostly from the non-Chinese. Any comment on that? Um, very profound and yeah. very nice thing. <laughs> then I see the student who questioned Mr. Wei's facts. So, what did you think? A bit disappointing. A bit disappointing. Why is that? Very dis disappointing. Why? Why? Yeah. Well, I think you can. No, you can was... see from a question because uh, yeah, well, I, yeah. I think it's That's not. Nice. It's not really well evidenced. Most uh, most stories he tells is about himself. It's not really some something just happening right. there. Any comment on what you heard just now? Nonsense. Huh? Okay. Nonsense. Nonsense. Really? Yeah. Well, can you tell me why? Sorry, I have no time now. No, just, just quickly. Very. I'll walk with you. Why do you, why do you say nonsense? Uh, I think she's, she, uh, he was just uh, mis misleading us, misleading the foreign countries, the foreign media to convince them to overturn the. Other students agreed that he didn't answer their questions, but Mr. Wei dismisses the criticism. And he alleges that there were embassy officials sitting at the back of the theatre. How do you know the embassy sits in the middle? Do you think you'll ever get to go back to China? Um, I think the Chinese government will not allow me. The Communist Party government will not allow me to return to China. But the Communist Party government will soon fall off. So I will also be able to return to China very quickly. My hope is that it will be better. Thank you.